Hello, YouTube. All right, guys. Today's gonna be pretty simple. Like I always say, video always ends up turning out a little longer than I expected, though. Happy uh, holidays. Happy New Year. By the time you're watching this, probably. It'll be 2020. End of the decade. Pretty cool. All right. I'm gonna put on my lens for you guys. It's nothing fancy, it's just the, the glasses I usually wear. Got them from uh, Saltwater Aquariums, they're by Fritz. Pretty cool, block out all the blue light. Difference, it's amazing. Basically, today is gonna be about this bad boy. The Red C50 LED. They come out with a 50 and a 90, this is the 50. Because a 90 would smoke my tank. I was a little um, worried about getting this at first because the um, they say that on the on the box that it only goes up to a 20 inch, and as you can see, mine is 30 inch. Excuse me, 30 inches. I got the hiccups. 30 inches. So 20 inches was worrying me a little bit. But as you can see, everything is doing perfectly fine. And so this guy, he still hasn't, he still hasn't gotten better. Not the clown, but that guy. He's like all shriveled up always. Everything looks beautiful. Everything swing. This guy's growing back his new heads. Hammer looks good. Just got a beautiful elegance in the corner. My food and Gia seems to keep on burying himself somehow. I think it's my pistol shrimp coming over and burying me. Ooh. And I have a frag on the floor, which is not good. I don't know how he ended up there. And I guess I'll glue him back. So, back to the thing. This light comes fully programmed with three settings out of the box. It's got a 12K, an 18K, and not an 18, a 20K and a 23K. Basically, um, the higher the K, the deeper the water usually is supposed to be. So at 23K, you're usually at like really deep waters. That's why it's so blue because the the darker wavelengths are able to pass, or pass deeper into the water rather than the reds, the blues, I mean the reds, the greens, and the whites, stuff like that. They don't go as far into the water. But the blues, the ultraviolets, and the violets, stuff like that, they all go all the way to the bottom. So I have mine at like 20K. Sorry, I forgot. I have mine at 20K right now. And that is what I like them at. I did auto tune, like auto set it to what I want. So I have like a, a high rise in the morning. So once it comes up, it stays at about 50% whites. 100% blues for about two hours and then it drops off to 40% whites and then 100% blues just because it's like I like it more blue in the tank it's more aesthetic looking I just keep the whites on just to, to get anything that needs a, a little bit of whites do you mind to get anything that needs a little white in there so that they could absorb a little if they need it Nothing in here really needs whites like that. GSP in the back looks great. This guy's already starting to spread out. All the corals are doing good. This light is designed for corals. And compared to the AI Prime, which I've never had, but I've done a lot of research, I don't like how it's too adjustable. Because people like to screw with their, their, their settings and it's just, it's gonna screw up the, the corals growth and the health all and all together. With this, they they went out with a spectrum meter, and it's, it's all online. You can go look it up. They went out with a spectrum meter, or whatever you call it, a spectrometer, probably. I don't even know their actual name, to be honest. They went out with that to the Red Sea, and then they took their test for about, I think it was 30, 30 days for, for each one. So for the 12K, they did 30 days, and so on and so forth. And they basically turned those uh, results they got into the settings for this uh, light. So basically they're designed 
to grow corals and they're designed to look exactly and admit the same spectrums as the, the Red Sea would admit, which is pretty damn cool. The, the moon setting on this is actually one of my favorite things. It, it follows the lunar cycle, which is very, very cool. And um, what was I gonna say? It has ultraviolets and a, and a moon, an actual moon LED, which is a dedicated LED that's never on unless it's moon time. It's three watts and it makes the tank this shaded, it looks like the moon. Like I can't describe it anymore better than that. Randall's out, even though he's a watchman. King's been out lately, that's my royal gama. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I just fed everything. Everything looks great. This light, perfect. Did cost me quite a sum. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a video at the very end of this. Just showing you the app, how easy it is, how simple everything is. And you could also, as you can see, I've been turning it. So you could turn it to get inside the tank without having to like take off the, the whole light. The Red Sea 90, the bracket is able to be lifted all the way up at 180 degrees so that you could still get in. I don't like that because I'm, I'm very scared. Um, something's gonna tap it. I'm gonna tap it while I'm in there and it's just gonna fall and slap me in the head or just come crashing down and just break and crack the glass because of all that weight. It is like two pounds. So with all that weight, I'm afraid it's just gonna snap the glass or, or break the bracket and the light falls in the water and there it goes $300 down the drain. Well, for the 90, it's even more. It's 340, 350 with the bracket. This guy was only like 270 with the bracket. So not that bad, it was like 230 without it. Everything looks to be growing very good. Very, very, very good. All my zoas are out. All my zoas are spreading. He looks a little bad for some reason. Not sure why, maybe somebody walked over him. He's got his new polyps coming out. He's got his new polyps coming out. The guy in the back has his new polyps coming out. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of what they are. That one is uh, Devil's Armor Pally. The one in the very back is a Black Dragon Zoa. That one, the big dome in the middle is a Miami Vice off-brand generic or whatever you want to call it. It's not the actual Miami Vice. Uh, that one is God's or Armor of God. That's a Rasta one head that I got. He, he's been doing good. Not the best. Um, those are my Gatorades. One of my least liked Zoa. It was more of an impulse buy. I think these are Twizzlers. Nobody knows what the f hell they sold me, so I don't know. My utter chaos is, and that is a purple monster, which is for some reason on the floor. Then over here, I got my uh, purple tip green hammer. I got my really, really beautiful Ghani Apollo. Seems to be happy. Duncan, love and life. This is a singular leather, love and life. Same for this Duncan. My new elegance, can't tell you much, just got them. Seems to be open a lot. Very beautiful, very big. Maybe the clowns will, clowns will host in them, no clue. Fungia, doing great. Once again, don't know who's burying him in the sand, but I gotta move him, I guess, to a better spot where nobody's gonna be burying him. Got the Kenya tree over here, not looking the best. And then the Hollywood Stunner, and then my two GSPs with look absolutely beautiful. Mr. Smiles and the Rock. Well, basically that's gonna be it for right now. I'm gonna go ahead and add in that video of um, how the app works and whatnot. And let's get to that right now. So basically this is the app. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Just showing you my notifications, don't worry about that. So basically, as you can see, 150. For some reason, it gave me this notice, but it just went away in a second after I clicked something. Went back, and then boom. Those are my settings. As you can see, what I told you, it has the, the 15, it drops off to a 40. 
percent throughout the day because i like the more blue and then you can see my moon settings at the very end i have some clouds in the middle these are all my time settings and whatnot that i got it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward pretty sure everybody could use it the ramp up time it does that all on its own the ramp up the ramp down the moon's on the moon's down I like the moon setting because it does let the tank stay on for a little longer than usual, which is something that I prefer. As you can see right there, it's super hard to dial it in, so I just recommend you tap the edit button and just write the time down because it'll just make life simpler. I have my moons up to 15 because they come preset at 10%, which I like them a little brighter. And it does follow the lunar cycle, which is really, really dope. So like right here follows all the lunar cycle it's at 85 percent today so that's pretty cool it has an acclimation setting so if you're adding it to the tank new i didn't acclimate because i'm hardcore like that and then it was showing you the staggered sunrise if you had more than one light you're able to stagger the sunrise so one comes on before the other it's pretty cool all right and here's just some pictures of the tank with the light. And then this one I took when I had the Hippogero LED. Um, it's just basically a time lapse of all the corals opening in the morning. As you can see, the color is totally different from the original color. Well, hope you liked it. Like, subscribe, share me to your friends and whatnot. See you later.